Well, is increased construction of Hollywood high-rises helping or hurting the poor? Councilman Mitchell Farrell weighs in at his yearly State of Hollywood address. Gil Reyes has more from Taglian Cultural Center. Gil. Well, that is right, Yana. Councilman Mitchell Farrell's annual State of Hollywood address inside this crowded ballroom touched on a number of topics, including homelessness, public safety, and the very controversial topic of development in his Tinseltown district. We should think big, dream big. A standing ovation for Hollywood councilman and big supporter of local development, Mitch O'Farrell. Speaking to business leaders, O'Farrell opposes plans that could stop construction in Hollywood. This ballot measure would be a direct threat on the production of affordable housing. He's referring to a proposed ballot initiative led by Michael Weinstein, his AIDS Healthcare Foundation, and the group Coalition to Preserve LA. They accused the city of breaking zoning laws in order to speed up construction of area high rises, including two planned skyscrapers to be built behind the Hollywood Palladium. Some say these projects only benefit rich developers, while squeezing out longtime residents who can't afford to live in these new buildings. Weinstein's proposed ballot measure could delay construction for years, but O'Farrell says that will end up hurting everyone. So when people who are promoting this talk about, well, it's only luxury housing and we're chasing away the middle class, the reverse is true. The reason housing is getting uh, more costly over the city is because there's a shortage. So market rate housing prices will come down when the production goes up. And O'Farrell says affordable housing for the poor will be included in these projects. Supporters also say increased development will create much needed construction jobs. The developers invest in the community and it's that investment that improves the community. When I came, Hollywood is practically all parking lots. Now we're filling in those parking lots with exciting projects that upgrade the community. As of deadline time for this story, the Coalition to Preserve LA was trying to gather enough signatures to put their measure to delay construction on the ballot. Gil Reyes for LA This Week. The city has set a goal of building 100,000 new housing units by 2021.